Hello, this is David Kelly with the White Rose Chorus uh, in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm going to share with you how I make the learning tracks for my local chapter. On the screen in front of you uh, is the software that I use to record the voice parts. Uh, the software that I'm using is uh, by a company called Acoustica. The uh, software is called MP3 Audio Mixer, which you can download directly from the site. It's uh, relatively inexpensive. I've been using it for many years. Uh, in addition to that, you can use any microphone plugged directly into your sound card, uh, but I like the quality better if I use uh, my own equipment. I am using a Sterling Audio ST51 condenser microphone, which I picked up from Guitar Center. Uh, and I'm also using, uh, I'm plugging that directly into a PreSonus AudioBox USB preamp, which I also got from Guitar Center. I'm finding that the, uh, the vocal quality tends to be better than plugging a performance mic directly into your sound card. It doesn't really matter what order you record the voice parts in, uh, but to maintain rhythm, you may need to uh, mark, use something to, to mark the beats. So sometimes I record a, uh, a beat track uh, and then sing over top of that. Uh, you might find that a particular voice part works better if you start with that part. Uh, it, it seems to keep the rhythm better if you're not using a, a, a beat track. Uh, as a demonstration, I'm going to uh, show you how I would record a tag with the four di uh, different parts. I'm going to start with the tenor track. Uh, so you can see here uh, that I'm pressing record a sound. What comes up next is a, a few options. Uh, you're going to need overdub if you want to hear the other voice parts as, as you're singing the new parts. Uh, you don't need that for the first part, obviously. Uh, but uh, as I sing the, the, the different parts, the other ones will play and I will also hear myself in my headphones uh, singing the, the new track. I am going to record in mono, and the reason I'm recording in mono is because it gives me the option of moving the tracks from one channel to the other. So I can put the one track on the left side and the other three tracks on the right side. Uh, so when I do record, it's always in mono. I'm going to go ahead and record. First, I need to give myself a B flat. I don't have perfect pitch, so. When it's sleepy time down south, and you can see it shows you the the recording. You would save that to uh, I, every time I, I record a track, I, I save it to a particular folder. So let's uh, save that out too. And I've already created a folder called Sleepy Time. And I would uh, give that whatever name I want to give it, and then I would go ahead and save that off. Once you've saved the track, you'll see that it will place it in one of the of the tracks, recording tracks here. I'm moving the tenor part up to the top track. Then I would go with uh, lead to record here, then baritone, and then bass. Oftentimes I'll have either the pitch or the uh, the beat track in in five, and then record uh, with overdub over top of the beat track. Uh, I'm going to go ahead for brevity and open the file that I created with all four parts. You can see I've got all four parts here. Uh, this one I saved as uh, Sleepy Time Tenor, Sleepy Time Lead, Sleepy Time Baritone, and I use R for Baritone and uh, Sleepy Time Bass. And you can play all four together. Uh, you're not going to hear this because it's coming up over my earphones. Uh, I will dub that back into the video. But if you want to go ahead and make a, uh, a track with uh, all four parts mixed together, uh, you would leave this as is. Um, what you can do is you can, you can work with the individual volume levels. If you think that there's uh, not enough tenor or uh, not enough lead, or too much bass, yeah, let's turn them down. Uh, you can adjust the volume until you get the right volume mix. Uh, you would then go to File, and you do a Save As A. You would save that as an MP3 file. And you can see I already saved that as Sleepy Time Down South Full Mix. When it's sleepy time down South. 
Now, if I wanted to uh, create a part-specific learning track, uh, let's say that I want to do the tenor in the left channel. I move up here and change from volume to pan. I would then select my tenor. I would move it all the way up to the left track. Then I would move the lead, the baritone, and the bass all the way down to the right track. I would then hit File, Save As A. I'll save that as an MP3 file. Then I'm going to name that Sleepy Time Down South Tenor. So I now have a tenor track. Uh, this one I want to make sure that I configure properly. Rather than in mono, I will need to save this as a stereo so that you end up with one track on one side and the others on the other. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I now have a uh, learning track, and I'm listening to it right now. I can hear that the tenor is indeed in the left channel, and the other three parts are in the right channel. Uh, when it's sleepy time down south. Now, you may also want to do a part predominant. Uh, when you bring a CD or a, uh, an MP3 through uh, Bluetooth onto a, a player, uh, sometimes I'll bring my DJ equipment and play over loudspeakers, but uh, you can go with a uh, Bluetooth-enabled uh, player. Oftentimes, those don't work very well in stereo, especially since the speakers are so close to each other. So what I'll do there is I will bring everything back down into the middle as far as the pan, so you end up with uh, a mono track. Then what I'm going to do, after I've uh, moved everything back to the center, is go back to volume. I will uh, make the tenor substantially louder and make the other three parts a little more subdued. So I'll bring down the volume level of those three parts. Then I'll go and do a save as, or save as a MP3 file. Now I'm going to do a, I'll just call this tenor predominant. I'll go ahead and hit save, but I want to go back and I want to change this. Uh, I want, when I play this back, to play back in mono. When it's sleepy time down south. Please note, if you are making a learning track of a stock arrangement, even if it's just for your own use within the chorus or quartet, you may still be bound to the requirement of obtaining a mechanical license from the Harry Fox Agency. For information on mechanical licenses and how to become a licensee, visit harryfox.com license underscore music.